Hey guys, this is teacher Luis Simanca here. Today I'm going to teach you how to describe someone's physical appearance. How to answer the question, what do you look like? What does he or she look like? What do they look like? Remember, that is the most important question when we're talking about physical appearance. What do you look like? What do you look like? What do you look like? What does she look like? What does she look like? Okay. So that question is to describe someone's physical appearance. First of all, there are three very important verbs when we are going to describe someone's physical appearance. What are those three important verbs? The first verb is the verb be. Someone is physically something. Okay, so someone is, I am, she is, he is, they are. We can also use the verb have. Someone has, I have, or a variation, have got or has got. It's the same. It's something that belongs to you, something that is yours physically, something that describes your physical appearance. And also the verb where, when you are with like uh, an, uh, something that, that you constantly carry with you or something that you wear all the time, something that is your characteristic all the time. So for example, we can say he is or she is. For example, he's tall she's short he's tall she's short opposite adjective we can say he's slim she's overweight he's overweight she's slim he's white she's brunette he's brunette she's white to describe someone's color we can also use the verb have or the variation have got or has got to say what someone has that describes them physically. For example, long or short hair. He has long hair, he's got long hair. She has long hair, she's got long hair. The meaning is the same. We can also describe someone's eye colors, okay? For example, uh, he, he has brown eyes, he's got brown eyes. She has brown eyes, she's got brown eyes or some uh, physical characteristics that people sometimes have on their faces like wrinkles and freckles later on I will show you some pictures so he's got freckles she's got wrinkles and of course the verb wear okay do not confuse the verb wear with the verb use okay when you are for example with glasses or or piercings or maybe braces we don't say I use glasses we say I wear glasses I wear braces so we say he wears eyeglasses or she wears contact lenses okay or braces so those are the three most important verbs when we are describing someone's physical appearance the verb be the verb have and the verb wear very good let's move on to the next slide now here we have a young lady Let's start with the verb be to describe what she is physically, what she is like physically. We can say that she is slim. She is slim. We can say she's medium height. She's medium height. Remember to repeat, listen and repeat, okay? To practice pronunciation. She's medium height. She's pretty. It's a very general adjective. She's pretty. Then we have this other lady here. She she's sexy and she's hot. She's sexy and she's hot. We can also say that she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Okay, like cute, gorgeous. She's short. It's the opposite of tall. She's short. And she's overweight. She's overweight. Very good. And then we have this man over here. Okay. We can say that he's muscular. Or that he's well built. He's muscular and he is well built. Okay? Or we can also say that he's handsome or that he's good looking. He's handsome, he's good looking. Very good. Now let's move on with someone's, uh, with the form of someone's hair. For example, in the first picture we have Shakira, Shakira Isabel Meora, Ripoll. Ripoll. We can say she has long wavy hair. She has long wavy hair. 
the form of the hair is wavy like the wave of the ocean the wave of the sea that's why we call this a uh, form of the hair wavy she has long wavy hair then we have this other woman here she has short curly hair she has short curly hair curly hair curly hair she has short curly hair and then we have this man down here he has short straight hair he has short straight hair straight hair there is another variation for the verb have which is has got and have got or the contraction she's got she's got is the same as she has so we can say she's got long wavy hair she's got short curly hair or he's got short straight hair the meaning is the same okay let's move on to the next slide we can also describe the color of someone's eyes we have different colors black brown blue hazel and amber green and gray and of course we use the verb have to describe someone's eyes color for example I have blue eyes I have brown eyes or we can also say I've got the contraction I have got a little more casual the meaning is the same I've got brown eyes or I have brown eyes she has green eyes she's got green eyes I've got brown eyes I've got brown eyes she's got blue eyes I have brown eyes I've got brown eyes she has blue eyes she's got blue eyes the meaning is the same then we can also use the verb have to describe someone's some some marks some facial especially facial characteristics that belong to someone's physical appearance for example the woman in this picture has something called wrinkles wrinkles are these age marks these things that starts appearing as you grow older so we call them wrinkles and we have to use the verb have we can say she has wrinkles she's got wrinkles remember to listen and repeat she has wrinkles she's got wrinkles the meaning is the same she has or she's got then we have a tattoo right a tattoo so she has a tattoo she's got a tattoo she has a tattoo she's got a tattoo then we have freckles freckles she has freckles she's got freckles she has freckles she's got freckles okay and then we have these black marks that people are born with which are called birthmarks birthmarks okay so they have birthmarks she has a birthmark the baby has got a birthmark birthmark so we have wrinkles tattoo freckles and birthmarks and then we have things that people wear all the time constantly that uh, helps us describe who they are or what they look like for example uh, the lady in this picture is wearing braces braces not brackets as most people call them is braces so she wears she wears braces he wears braces I wear braces remember we we add the letter s because it's third person wears but I wear braces and of course eyeglasses or glasses she wears glasses he wears glasses I wear glasses he wears eyeglasses he wears eyeglasses I wear eyeglasses all right and then we have a um, someone's hair style the form of someone's hair can also be used to describe someone's physical appearance for example the woman in this picture has her hair in one form the little the little young lady another form you see there are different hairstyles of course we have to use an expression the expression is he wears his hair in and then the style he wears his hair in depending on the subject we use the possessive he his she hairs I my he wears his hair in she wears her hair in I wear my hair in so let's let's see what we call these hairstyles a ponytail a ponytail 
He wears her hair in a ponytail. In a, in a ponytail. A pigtail. A pigtail. <laughs> she wears her hair in a pigtail. A pigtail. Braids. Braids. She wears her hair in braids. In braids, not in a braids because it's plural. So she wears her hair in braids. Then we have cornrows. Cornrows is a combination of the word corn and the word rows. Cornrows, which is like which, because it looks as if of, of cornrows, corn crops, those uh, places where people grow corn. So they look like corn rows. So that's why we say she wears her hair in corn rows. And then the guy over here wears his hair in dreadlocks. The, the famous uh, Islanders and Jamaican hairstyle dreadlocks, Bob Marley, Lucky Dude, Alpha Blondie, they wear ha their hair in dreadlocks. So I wear my hair in dreadlocks. Remember a ponytail, a pigtail, braids, cornrows, and dreadlocks. Okay, and finally we have some general, general adjectives uh, for physical appearance, to describe physical appearance. For example, this guy right here, in general, we can say that he's handsome or he's good looking. He's pretty handsome, he's pretty good looking. Or he's handsome, he's good looking. This woman, we can say she's pretty, she's attractive, she's hot. She's pretty, she's attractive, or she's hot. This guy right here, we can say he's well built. He's well built, you know, he's kind of muscular very athletic so he's well built the woman right here we can say she's average height she's average height not too tall not too short just in the middle just like most of the people she's average height okay and then finally we have a uh, the weight we can say their average weight okay their average weight not too heavy okay not too light, just normal, as most people. Average weight. So guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to watch the video, listen and repeat. Then practice describing yourself and someone you know using the verb be, I am, he is, she is, using the verb have, I have, I've got, he has, he's got, she has, she's got, and then the verb wear to describe what someone wears that describes them physically. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye bye.